talked a lot about living through the depression and how they uh, were able to eat pretty good because they were on the farm, but they didn't have a lot of cash flow. I know that when he was 15, they moved to Portland and his parents bought a ice cream parlor and he and his older brother, Don, worked it. He went to Roosevelt in North Portland and he made it about two years and he couldn't take it any longer and he'd rather go to work or something instead of go to school so he quit school and when he was working in there this gal kept coming in that he couldn't not pay any attention to and um, that's where he met my mom. I know he joined the National Guard when he was 17. He was inducted into the Army after he joined the National Guard and then after they trained them, they were on their way to the South Pacific and they were just outside of Pearl Harbor when the attack started that nobody even saw coming. We radioed for clearance and they said, get the hell out of here. And we were being bombed and uh, we could really tell that and got out of there before they hit us. And so we turned around and went back to San Francisco on our ship. Well, I was a staff sergeant and I was in charge of four artillery pieces and I usually stayed with one. The shells weighed close to 100 pounds, I think 96 or something. So it took two men on a cradle to carry them up to the bridge. After he got back from a couple trips to the war, he decided it was time to get married. shoot all night sometimes and, and move at night because we wouldn't observe us so much as moving in the daytime. We could shoot 14 miles with our howitzer. We could set up behind a hill and, and lob them over 14 miles. Every time we would fire, there'd be some coming back. It didn't always hit us, so it hit around us. But uh, we'd dig old. They knocked my gun out twice. We would move into a position where the Germans had it set with wooden mines and they, we would walk into them. You couldn't detect them with a detector. We had to probe to find one to get the guys out. One day we lost 20 some guys with one leg off. And they didn't know there was a minefield because it wouldn't show up on the detector. We had six children. As of Sunday, we have 16 grandchildren and 20 great-grandkids. We were just married 73 years before she got cancer and passed away. She's been gone, what, 10 months or so. Or, and still, like I say, I can't talk too much about her. Carry her picture all the time. They loved each other. You could tell they did every day. I think about him as he's, uh, he's not only my hero, as I get out and about with him and people congratulate him or thank him for his service, I realize he's uh, America's hero.